Turners, we back. Burberry. Fashion show. What, what is this? Fashion Valley. Valley. Show mom. This is exactly where he want to be. And guess what? My wife found this place now. I'm talking about exactly where I want to be. My wife found this place. Then you back. She Googled this and found it. She wants y'all to know that. Bougie. Don't get me wrong. I, don't, I like the shop. But I just don't like clothes shopping. Turn up, turn up, we live, we back in effect once again. Y'all see my wife right here, y'all give a shout out to my wife. This is our anniversary, y'all. We still together, we fine, we still making it. We holding on. So this year we don't have the shirt say, I'll choke you and all that stuff. This Cause we did that all during the year. Right, so. <laughs> So this year, we got shirts that say King and Queen. We graduated. Right, right, right. We have been less wanting to kill each other and less wanting to choke each other this year. So, held the shirts back. That's what we have to do in life. We have to take small steps, you know? So we have spent less time doing that this year, feeling like that. It's never okay for you to put your hands on a woman or a man for that cause Y'all women like to jump up and root when they say, you know what I'm saying, don't put the hands on you. Women shouldn't do it either. But women women love to think it's okay because they the weaker vessel to slap the man and grab him. I don't act out of their emotions. Okay, let's clear that you know. up because that ain't what we do. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't what we do. Oh yeah, that's definitely not what we do. I go in the other room, I leave, or something, before we get to that point. You like JC Penny? You wanna go in there? Okay. We headed in JC Penny. My life, my wife like this. Don't trying to act like she don't. See JC Penny. She like to decorate the home. That's a good woman. You got a woman that's always looking to decorate the home. Cause I don't care about sheets and curtains <laughs> and all this stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it left up to me, you know, we can just put some blinds up and call it a day. You know, that Christmas tree that y'all see on the pictures, for those of y'all who be watching, uh, liking our pictures and stuff, my wife helped decorate, did all of that. That was her idea. But I did help. The men in the house did help put the decoration up, but that was my wife's idea to do that. Men don't care about stuff like that. Trees being in the right place and jingo bells and all of that. You know, we, we can do without that part. We want the part where you cook it and the presents, you know, the presents. Come my wife get some awesome gifts. I'm so sure. She be getting us some awesome gifts. Yeah. She remembers stuff we mentioned all throughout the year. And we'll find it on the tree on Christmas. So, <clears throat> he just said, I remember stuff that they say throughout the whole year, right? So when it come to my birthday, when it come to Christmas, these, trying to find a great word for the vlog. Man, we hook these you up on niggas, Christmas stuff. Yeah, they hook me up, but they be stressing out, trying to figure out, oh my God, I don't know what to get her. Oh my God, that, they something serious. Now she don't really like anything, you know what I'm saying? My wife, she not boozy. And it's good because she kind of, she basic, you know? So, <laughs> like, not to say she don't like nice things, but, you know, she... Why well, my finger is... Because I'm holding it from the wrong side. Yeah, let me put it back on here. Let's put it... Y'all still work with us, you know, we still learning the blog. So, look, and you can hold it. Wow. That's even better. That's great. But, yeah. What are we talking about now? The gifts? Yeah. Yeah, so we hook my wife up though. Don't let her talk that mess to you. No, I ain't saying y'all hook me up. Y'all do hook me up, but they be stressing like, I don't know where to get her. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my wife, man, she, 
She cool. But we don't be knowing what to get her car. She got a lot of stuff though. And the stuff that we need to get her for her clothes and stuff that she don't like to do. You know, it's hard to shop for her because she have to see it and it see that it pop, you know, in her eyesight for her to be able to really like it or get it. So that don't make good for us trying to shop and do that. Cause we don't know when we lay our eyes on it, we think it pop, it might not pop to her. So that's why we be having difficult. So we just go another route and get a lot of other stuff. I like perfume, jewelry. You got on purses, some new perfume right now. Purse. What you just got for anniversary? Tell the people what you got for anniversary. You say you like um, perfume. Yeah, I did. I got perfume. Ellen Tracy. And I love bath stuff. I got bath stuff. She got bath I love stuff. house shoes because socks is my favorite thing. She got house shoes. I got house shoes. I got. See, um, see this beautiful face. She, she wears just a tad bit of makeup sometimes. So. Well, I don't have on nothing today. Right, right. For what? But when she do want to use some, tell her. Got hook up oh, on yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Makeup brushes and. Oh, I got two. Uh, I got okay. I got a car. I got two cards. One card that he bought me, and then one card that he made. Me. I like the one that he made because <laughs> I like what it say. Yeah, he's very thoughtful. Love. No, I went back old school, man. When we used to be in high school, middle school, wrote a love note. You'll be surprised how far that take you. The romantic part of the marriage. Turn up turn y'all. Real, authentic, straightforward to the point. We don't mess around. We don't do no fake stuff. We don't do no fake kicking it. Everything you see and we talk about is real. Even the problem, the issue, all of it is real. Y'all gonna see <laughs> us, look. Y'all gonna see us in onesies this year. Onesies for Christmas. I never wore one. I don't even remember wearing onesies as a baby. I want them bad, baby, so I'm pretty sure I was just running around with my pamp on and my shirt off. You know what I'm talking about? Just get a while. Yeah. And so I got everybody a onesie. And so my parents are supposed to be moving here next year. So I'm trying to decide if I should keep the extra two onesies that came <laughs> because I'm, I'm going to put my parents in the onesie. I'm is that like, my parents is in that, the onesie, is, too. I'm, I'm saying, if you over 60 and you wearing a onesie, is that like mm -hmm. elder abuse? <laughs> If you made the wear ones and you over 60, I want y'all to answer that out there. Is that like elderly abuse or kind of like some form of torture? If you're over 60 and you're a grandparent and you've been made to wear ones, a baby ones. Y'all tune in. Y'all give me some answers on that. They're going to participate. So. Everybody participate in the holiday fun. That's what it's all about. Holiday time is not about gifts and presents and what we can give even though we do that as a tradition and exchange and all that it's about family time it's about coming together it's about being one it's about just enjoying the gift of life you know just to be able to live every day and just be able to see each other every day <coughs> too often i want to put the drop this nigga out there too often too many families the only time they have a family reunion or a celebration of each other is when something bad happened to another family member or in the family and I want y'all to think about that for a minute because a lot of that go on. You know, people arrive from miles away from different cities that they done moved for, to yeah. for a funeral when somebody done passed away or somebody done died. But then we'll be living altering states from one another or in the same cities or in the same and neighborhood sometimes. They don't even hang out, don't even really call each other, don't come by each other's house, don't get together, have no family time or no fun time. But immediately, as soon as somebody passed away, a car wreck, accident happened, and somebody in a hospital, you know, now we pulling up. Now we giving flowers and I ain't uh, been cars and, my and stuff like that. So long. And that's sad. That's sad. That's sad. We should be able to get together and celebrate life and be able to celebrate family, friends, and just enjoying one another and the grace and mercy that been bestowed upon our life for us to still be here through all the trials and tribulations we done been through and just be able to enjoy one another and create memories and make moments you know for our kids and our grandkids to be able to partake in to see you know what we were doing or how we were living or how we were getting together or, you know the things that we teaching them and instilling in them that they are actually we were carrying them out long before they even got old enough to understand so 
I want to say this thing before we uh, get off the vlog, but <clears throat> you know, so we, we y'all know we in ministry, y'all know that we are in leadership as well too, you know, and everybody got their own take as to, you know, Christians putting up a Christmas tree, Christians celebrating Christmas or whatever, you know what? What, whatever tickles your fancy and you know I know people Bible scholars or just people in ministry will um, let me just tell you people come for us and we just at the point now that we don't even care so we 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 know the um, the, the symbol behind the things that we do it's no different from the sin that you pick and choose to do so Please don't come for us, cause we ain't right. trying to hear it this year. We putting our we, Christmas tree up. We, we, we put our Christmas tree up. away. That's what we doing. That's so. what we choose to do. Whatever you choose to do in your household, glory be to God. Do it, because what we do, we still do it unto God. You know? and, so. and, and really, with that Christmas thing, man, people really taking it too far. As long as you understand the the celebration of Christ on that day. And what that means in reference to our Lord and Savior. Then whatever other activities or festivities, parades or functions or fun time or exchanging gifts or whatever else that you decide to participate in. Then me personally, I don't see anything wrong with that. And uh, to people that see something wrong with it or harp on it, to me they just miserable people. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we should teach our kids, we should teach our members and everybody else the meaning and what it and what behind Christmas and it ain't about Santa Claus and it ain't about the gifts, but once that is foundation is laid, um I feel that we should be able to have some fun and enjoy family time and do all of those things. So again, if you decide not to do that with your family then go ahead but Please don't, don't come, come for me, because <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And I'm, gonna, I'm telling you now, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to always do that. You know, unless the Lord see fit to change that he <laughs> hadn't so far. And I don't think he in the business of doing it at no time soon. So that's what it'll be for us. Just recently, the Lord just been dealing with me because a lot of stuff, I just let go. And I'd be like, oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. But the Lord just been dealing with me because every every moment is a teaching moment. And even my husband gave me the confirmation. So even when I write stuff and knowledge is power and people come back and come for me, my husband say, no, you need to go ahead and address the situation. Handle it, babe. Handle get, it. Do it get in love. Them. Get them. Get them. No. Because we it's still a teaching moment right, to right. the people. You know, but I'm just at this point now, you, you come for me, you better bring it. Because I'm telling you, I, I ain't never one of, I used to be not one of those ones that coarse joke. And the reason why I did not coarse joke, because <clears throat> I hit below the belt, you know. So I just don't coarse joke. But I'm telling you, you come for me with some stuff, you better come correct. And you better have your scripture there as well, too. Because I'm telling you, I, I'm going to get at you. We still king and queen, y'all. I'll show you something. We still clean and clean. That's a thing for our, uh, oh, look. So, that's the queen right there, of course. We've been kinging it and queening it all week. Oh, I'm king. Look at how we rocking, man. Okay. So, we about to get out the vault because we've been in this spot right here. Probably. 15 minutes. Because the camera says 13, and We was here two minutes trying to get together. <laughs> Okay. But we still working with this vlog and stuff. We appreciate y'all to tune in, y'all to support us. And man, just stay encouraged and continue to encourage us. Continue to pray for us that we continue to pray for y'all because they definitely need it and it's definitely great to appreciate everybody that I wanna say that everybody that support Team Turner, Turn Up Turner, we definitely win together. So don't think that we're gonna forget about y'all and when this thing really blow and make it big. Because we're not those type of people. We appreciate every single view, every single like. And trust me, as we win and as we go up and doors open and swing on for us, we will definitely keep those that have been with us and supported us, even in, 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 in encouraged us in the downtime. We will definitely keep you at the forefront of our minds. And that's all, and we stand on that. That's our word. Ain't that right, man? Yeah. We stand on that. That's our word. So until next time, turn up, turn up. Fashion, Fashion Valley, Show Mall. San Diego. San Diego, California. Anniversary times two. Two. We out here. We got to talk about the movie. Okay, yeah, you you know I do because I can't even get it out of my god dog on mouth. Right. Fast enough. Okay, so we in San Diego at the AMC. 
movie theater, right? So we just went and seen uh, the movie Slim. Okay. If I would have known that this movie was going to be the way that it was, I would have never, ever, ever come to see the movie because I really do not like movies like this. Racial stuff and hate crimes. I cannot oh, stand it. What a tea. So. Now we really pissed off for real though. Because Sugar Slim did not give us no. Uh, we didn't see this coming. You know, we didn't, we didn't see it. And we didn't read the reviews and all of that. We just kind of looked at the end like, oh, black couple, love story. They sticking together. Bonnie Great. and Clyde. Yeah, know. we were with that because that's what we do. We stick together. We real, real love story to start it all. And then trenches. So, and then we get the movie and it's about the cop, racial war, killing blacks. And that is my pet peeve. I cannot stand them slave movies, racial movies, none of that stuff. Because I don't, I don't care what nobody say. And like me and my husband were going back and forth, you know. Maybe they would have had a chance if they would have got down bull crap. Bull crap for the simple fact that you got every day, all day. People, you got police officers on the movie cam, on the on the dash cam, and they still killing folks. You know, so that's why I just felt like if that would have been me and my husband, I'm telling you, we just would have been strapped from the get go, and we just would have went out shooting, well, playing first, and well, first of all, when he gave her that money, one of the first things I would have been involved with some AKs, and high power rifles. <laughs> You gotta give yourself a chance uh -huh. to live and respect that. What went on at the first beginning when he shot her to get all of this started, the first officer. You know, you have to be in a mindset of that, especially when it already got like happened. So mm -hmm. we wouldn't have went out like that. But I did say this. At that point, when they was in the movement and surrounded, and they couldn't get out, and he done set them up, obviously, you know, give yourself a chance to winning in court because they did have a little better although we know situations have turned out not to be Man, but just come on. the way we look how many to, times we I'm... see seen that even right, right now right right and that's why i just don't I, I don't get it ain't no way you about to send me to, to jail for for self-defense i i'm telling you i you just would have had to take me out we see this every day, all day in America. Yep, that's the Chicago in me. You see this every day, all day in America. Cops killing folks with the dash cam, got proof galore, and still people are dying. So bull crap. So my you wife, just would have had to kill said, me. You know what I'm saying? We gonna be the body body. So what a whole court in the street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then my brother yep. half on ride with a gun blade. You know. <clears throat> show y'all something. See this? <laughs> I got him that. We would have had, this, you know, my wife bought this for me. We would have had the, uh, what this, a machine and, gun and with praying praying hands. hands. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man, right here at the AMC 18. Where we at, baby? Fashion Valley Mall. Yeah, Plaza. San Diego. San Diego, man. Yeah. Outside mall. It's actually lovely weather down here. It ain't too cold. It ain't too hot. It been raining a little bit, but the temperature is good. People still going on the beach down here. When we first pulled up, we saw a guy running with no shirt on. We don't say getting their uh, cardio on. So, the weather is good down here. We were able to get out and enjoy ourselves a little bit. So, you know, they want to share that with you guys. And we want to give a high five right up to Team Trump. Up high. Me and my wife did not have to spend 30 minutes to an hour figuring out where we were going to eat at after this. <laughs> and that means it's that usually is a big problem that we have. So in order to work this out like in two minutes type of stuff, and she just was like, oh no, we going out. So we will see you guys at. Yeah, because we need something to take our mind. Well, probably more so me need something to take my mind off this take your mind movie. Because I'm, I kid you not, this. That, yeah, that, that movie didn't rub me the wrong way. Yeah, so whoever even cre created this movie, I'll make sure I look you up because I ain't support no more your got dog on movies. Right. <laughs> Period. When we gonna win sometime? Right. <laughs> when we gonna kill the cop and get away? <laughs> uh, Dang, man. We always on the losing end of these movies. Yeah. Well, look, and please understand, we ain't promoting violence. That's one thing I hate. We, 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 we definitely not promoting violence, but I do believe in justice as well. And, and, right. and there's so much unjust 
that goes on here in America when you talk about uh, African American, uh, black people, and I'm sure other things go on in other races too. But come on, how, you you see more of this when it comes to the color of our skin versus anywhere else. So I I don't, I don't want to hear. We can go tooth the nail on that one. Yeah, we know the problem that exists with racism, and, uh, cop killing, uh, unjustified killings. And, just and they getting away with it, going home to their families. And stuff on uh, assaults and killings on our way. I'm, we, I'm about to say this last thing, and we gonna end it. You know what? Outside of me thanking and praising God for just knowing who He is and being in my right mind, y'all better thank and praise God that I know who He is <laughs> and I'm in my right mind. Cause I, I kid you not, things that go on in this world. Although that title of pasto is in front of my name, you'll never know what you may do in a in a circumstance or situation when it comes to your kids, your right. family, the ones that you love. So trust me, I do believe in God, and I do believe in the power of miracles, signs, and wonders. <clears throat> but please don't tempt me. Please don't test me, because I don't know what I may do. You know, so. To God be the glory. Amen. Praise God. We going to war about each other, though. I do know that. So, you know, but it is what it is, though. But we just want to give a little insight, share a little bit, tune you guys in to turn up, turn up. We're still out here in San Diego. We're still making it happen. We're still getting to it. And now we're about to go feed out there. That's our, that's our hashtag. Hashtag always eat good. Yeah, always eat good. And, you know, I just want, I want to put this out there, too. You know, he said, you know, in the movie, he said he wanted to ride or die. And, and she asked, you know, what that means? And he was like, you know, somebody just going to hold my hand forever. And I'm going to say this, you know, whatever, whatever beef or whatever come my husband way, just know that I ain't going to be the one to be sitting back crying. Tell my, oh, don't hit him. No, I'm about to bust your face. I'm about to find something to bust your face. We both about to be fighting up in here. And like my so, wife said, we promote violence. But no, we we're are, not. We all just being real. We, we giving our insight. We letting you know how our feelings and emotions stem toward that situation and mm -hmm. our viewpoints about the thing that's going on in the world and just being real and being honest. So this is the real look. This is our real truth. And this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I seen a post that I had posted in Knowledge of Power that we don't type of Christian apostle and pastor that, you know, we're not going to turn the other cheek. So you can slap me again after you slap me the first time. You know, we're going to have to be praying and asking God for forgiveness for what right. we did to y'all. That's sorry, right. But that's the kind of, right. kind of save we is. Yeah. We're not that type of save where we're going to turn the other cheek and let you bust us up again. I don't think so. I ain't going to say what somebody won't do because people can do whatever they want to do. Right. But it consequences and repercussions behind it when you cross that line. Though. Just yeah. know that. So yeah. you do what you want to do, but I'm going to do, I'm going to respond how I want to respond. And please understand <laughs> that we have not been saved all our life. Yeah, I'm 20 years in, but you know. I got about three. It, I'm 20 years in, but there are some things that just, you know, still come to me and sometimes, and those are just everyday battles that I still deal with, you know, especially when I see stuff going on like this, or even when I see what went on in that movie. <clears throat> I can't say I would have responded uh, a, a, a certain type of way but I know the way that how she responded when she was like let's go from that point on my mind would have been clicking and ticking like anything that come our way now it they right. gone anything that come our way they gone so that right. means we would have had to been strapped it's great survival mode that's right not just strapped because strapped is a pistol we need high artillery we would have to yeah. some, some high power artillery yeah so I'm like God, again, we give you the glory because you know that if we would have connected any time sooner than what we did, <coughs> it wouldn't have been nice. It wouldn't have been nice. Turn up, turn up, man. That's turn our up, real turners. truth. That's our authentic self. This, you see what you get. It is what it is. And the reality of that is real. Shout out to all who support us. We are on our way to the restaurant. Meet us there. Turn up, turn up. Ooh, <laughs>